Hey, what's up? We left that pansy with another Path of Exile video. In today's video, we're going to talk about Heist. We're going to talk about a new update to a pre-existing tool. This is a tool that I've already done a video on. It's called Awakened Peewee Trade. And I'm just going to unveil uh, the, the blueprint here. That's probably fine. That's probably enough. We just need the heist reward room to be open this is a unusual gems contract so i'm gonna chuck in a bunch of people that are gonna help us out here you probably don't want to have vindere twice and there is a new feature that's just been released for this tool for awakened poe trade and that is a unusual gem or just gem heist gem checking feature so that means that you can run in to these uh these contracts here we can just, now we've got it all set in stone. We can just Hello. give this to Adia. And then once we get to the the, the target room, the, the curio room, I think it's called in Heist, then that means we can just use a shortcut key. I've set mine to control B because I don't really do a lot of bold searching in Path of Exile. I don't do a lot of bold text in Path of Exile. So for me, it's just control B, but you can set it as whatever you want. And we're just going to run over straight to the curio room. Normally in these these rooms, you might you know stop and do the currency room or something like that. But we're just going to showcase the tool here. So hopefully I've set it up completely correctly as well because this is my first time using it. But I just saw it and I knew I actually absolutely had to try it out and make a video about it because this looks like the perfect kind of thing for... Um, for lots of people so the idea let's just try it out here control b hey look there we go down at the bottom here oh maybe you can't see that because my i'm just going to move this a little bit because my face is in the way as usual here we go that's much better okay so i have it set up and you just hover over the gem that you want you do control b and it, or whatever kind of hotkey you set up oh, i guess it's it's already done this one. Okay, so it's found Anomalous Vigilant Strike. It's also found this one as well, it looks like. But you ideally want to have this bar here. This should not be obstructed by anything. So not by these, you know, your buffs or by your health bars, that kind of stuff. So if we do Anomalous Infernal Blow here, it doesn't seem to be working. Or maybe it's already figured that one out. Okay, so it's already figured that one out. And then we've got Anomalous Power Charge on crit over here and Anomalous Cremation. So I'm going to just do Control-B, oh, make sure we can actually see it here. So it made Anomalous Cremation, that's 5C. Anomalous Vigilant Strike, that's, oops, that's the wrong thing. Uh, that's 7C, so we're looking at 8 Chaos, wow. Infernal Blow, 19 Chaos. This is, this is going to be fantastic for running Anomalous Gems contracts and... Anomalous power charge is 19 chaos, so I'm just going to take the anomalous infernal blow over here. And this means that you no longer have to... For me, normally, I would get to this room and be, okay, so it's time to go to POE Ninja and check up the price of everything. And I'll go and look up the price of everything and then come back and then try to figure out if I typed it right. And this is going to help so much. This is going to make everything a breeze for running heist contracts. Huge shout out to the POE, uh, Awaken POE trade devs who made this happen. This is absolutely fantastic. This is one of the best things to happen to a third party tool for quite some time. So I'm strongly considering actually running some heist now because it seems like this is going to be way easier to do. It's going to be a lot more, uh, a lot less time consuming. I'm going to come back to get all these, uh, these currency ones over here. But I think, yeah, this is actually going to make heisting a l uh, I'm not going to say fun. It's going to make it easier. It's going to make heisting a lot easier. And before there was, I remember seeing a few months ago now, somebody talking on Reddit about having, being able to make, I think it was 26 divines an hour they were talking about. And it's because they would run it. They have a very specialized character for just gems heists. They run in. They, or maybe not just gems heist, but just heists. And they, for grand heist, they run in, they get to the curio room, they look at everything. And because they knew what was worth and what was not, they would just look. And if there was nothing worked, they would just run out because they're all about speed. So what we did is, you know, we took something worth 19 chaos. They would not take it. They would just leave. 
and I think it's going to bring that kind of speed to everybody, which is, I think, really, really good. It's a good leveling tool. So we're going to go ahead and look for the next next curio. We'll try it out more. Than, you know, got to try it out more than once. This is half the thing about science is doing things more than once. I'm entirely sure what that was about. But we're going to go into the curio room just at the end here, and we'll check out again what our gems are worth. I've got quite a few unusual gem contracts or blueprints rather and i i really feel like i'm definitely going to start running them instead of selling them on tft selling them on tft is that's very good money i mean you sell them pretty quickly and if they're 100 percent if they're 100 percent uh revealed then they sell like that on trade so if, if you get one that's 100 percent revealed unusual gems just list it on trade because somebody will pay like two three hundred cares for it straight away so we've got divergent cast on death support we've got divergent sigil of power so let's hit the key and we see cast on death divergent 6.3 chaos and uh, sigil of power is 5 chaos and then we've got these this one over here anomalous wave of destruction uh, that could be good it's not 9 chaos <laughs> uh, we've got anomalous sum summon phantasm which is worth 8.7 chaos and then we've got anomalous ice nova which is worth 10 chaos wow big money so uh, take that and get out of here and yeah that's uh, i just wanted to make a, a quick video based around this tool i will have obviously a link in the description below to the uh, the installation guide for this basically you just download a zip file if you so there's obviously two types of installation if you have awaken poe trade already then you just download a zip file and then you restart the app and then you configure the hotkey it was super easy i even i if i can figure it out you can figure it out and also it's it's spelt out quite clearly in the uh, in the in the page for it so you'll be able to get there no worries and if you don't have wake and Pee Wee trade then um then i think you can just download it and it comes with it but anyway that's it from me. I hope you I hope you use this tool. I hope you're kind to everyone you meet. I love you all very much. Throw us a subscribe and a like if you think this is useful content. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.